we routinely see something in our gym, in our clients, all of us as trainers. We see somebody, they come in, they work hard, they're hitting the workouts with a good amount of intensity, they're consistent, they make gains, they make gains, they make gains, they plateau, they regress. What's going on there is something that we call failure to thrive. And what that is, it's a nutrition-related issue. It's a diet-related issue. If you're working out without eating right, you will not get the results of this program. You will get half of the results, and in fact, we'll say you will not really survive and you definitely will not thrive in this program without eating properly. Greg, um, develop this nifty little pyramid here and uh, at the <clears throat> bottom of it we've got nutrition then Metcon gymnastics weightlifting and throwing and sport and what he calls this is it's uh, the theoretical hierarchy of the development of an athlete now, you don't really have to remember much about this, except the whole idea is that each level builds on the level below it. And that the foundation of this is this. If your nutrition sucks, these things will not be where they could be if it were more solid. What I want to get you guys thinking about is food as a drug. And what is food? There are three things that make up food. Protein, carbohydrate, and fat. Three macronutrients. And what I want to look at specifically are the protein and the carbohydrate. And, and I'm going to talk to you about, uh, I, I want to talk to you about your internal teeter-totter. I know y'all didn't know you had that, but you do. <laughs> and we're going to look at it right now. We're all going to learn about it. On one side, we've got something called insulin. On the other side, we've got something called glucagon. These are hormones affected by the food we eat. What we want is a nice balanced teeter-totter. We'd like for these guys, this guy and this guy, to weigh the same and chill, nicely suspended, balanced, right? Insulin is a hormone elicited by carbohydrate or sugar. When we ingest carbohydrate, the, pa the, the pancreas produces insulin. Insulin goes to our cells. They hook up. The cells then let in energy. They let things in to the cells. Also fat, if we have too much. Sugar does make you fat, right? So this is carbohydrate, insulin. When we eat protein, we, we get a glucagon response. Glucagon tells the cells, OK, time to let stuff out, let energy out. This is super simple, super dumbed down, because it's actually, as far as the practical, it's not that important, but I want you to understand here, because I'm going to keep referring to it, right? Protein, glucagon response. And what we want are these to be balanced. Let things out, let's the pushes things in, let things out, and then we've got fat, and the fat is hormonally neutral, and it actually kind of supports the, the stability of this. It supports the steady state here. The insulin is necessary for survival, right? We either produce it, we inject it, or we die. We need it. When we eat so much carbohydrate that our insulin levels get jacked up so high so often, we actually decrease the sensitivity of our cells to let stuff in to do their job, and so we have to produce more and more and more insulin to get that job done, for the body to get that job done. And that's known as a state called hyperinsulinemia. I want you guys to go home and Google that. Hyperinsulinemia. And what I'm, all I'm going to say about this, hyperinsulinemia, what it is, elevated, chronically elevated levels of insulin wreak havoc with your health. Never mind your fitness, your wellness, right? Where, you know that, that thing that Kelly showed you where we had sick, fit, and well? You're not even close to here. You're here and you're going down hard and fast. 
you got to watch your carb intake. you got to keep this balance here. Okay. So, what we want is a balanced diet. Great. How do we do that? It's really, really simple. Okay? Meats and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar, will get you a pass for metabolic derangement. You won't get sick on that diet. You can also think of it as the perimeter of the grocery store diet. That's where all your fruits and vegetables are. That's where all your fresh meats are. Think, just think about it. If you can't go outside and harvest it or kill it and eat it in an hour, it, it's really not that good for you. If it's got a food label on it, you're not sure what's in it. If cockroaches won't eat it, like Twinkies, <laughs> you probably shouldn't either. <laughs> and that will keep you from getting sick. You know, stick pretty close to this and you're pretty good to go. Now, that's to keep you from getting sick. That's to keep you, I shouldn't erase these things, that's going to keep you right, right in here, nice and well. Now, you will not optimize your performance without paying attention to quantity. So when you're looking at optimizing your performance or optimizing your health, what you need to do is pay attention to the quantity of food you eat. It becomes critical. To optimize performance, you need to know exactly what you're putting in your body, exactly how much of it, and exactly the results that you're getting out. So I'm going to show you guys, I, I want to look at another continuum, right? Because that said, what we've got here, wow, it looks like a big loaf of bread. But let's say, <laughs> enjoy it now. What we've got here is, is the paleo diet. And I'm actually going to put over here, I'm going to put a zone paleo on this end. OK? And, and essentially what this is, it's weighing and measuring your, your uh, meats and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar. What you're getting over here is the right quantity and a really good quality food. And this is this end of the spectrum. And the results here, this is going to be optimal, he um, optimal health and wellness, optimizing your performance, super wellness, super health. This is going to be, I want 10 seconds off my Fran time. It's going to be, I've got, I've got a 310 and I want a 259. That's, I'm going to tell you this right now, that's got to fucking matter to you, hardcore, to live here. It does, and anybody who's tried it knows. The, this, it's simple, it's not easy, and the benefit of shaving, off, shaving seconds off your performance really has to matter to you in order to stay, to stay and live here. As athletes, like I know some of you are, that you're, you're going to be able to live there. The, the driving force, the burning desire is going to be there. Here's what I'd ask from all of you if you were my clients. I want you to give me two weeks right around here. I want you to give me two weeks of weighing and measuring your food. And you can eat any food you want. I know a guy who did it on, on um, beef and beer. <laughs> <laughs> and he saw great performance gains and he started beating his friends. Now, do I recommend that long term? <laughs> I mean, do I, you know, do I think like, okay, yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're going to be in the best health of your life? Would I, no. Would I like to see you eat a green thing here and there? Yes. An apple? Yes. I, I want to I, I wanna see everybody kind of here, you know, right around here. Eat some vegetables, eat some fruit. Nice, good quality proteins. But what I'm saying here is quantity is, is paramount. And what I want for my clients is to give me two weeks, come hell or high water, weighing and measuring their food. I want them to get a block prescription from me, which all that is, and I hate the funky language, but it's an easy way to talk about it. It's a common language we can share. I want you to get a block prescription. All that means is how much food do you eat in a day? That's it. How much food do you get? And it's based on your lean body mass and your activity level. I don't want to feed the fat. I want to feed the muscle. I want to feed the things that are essential functioning things, and I want to know how active you are, and I'm going to feed that. And the results you're going to get are amazing. And I ask people for two weeks, two week commitment. Do it and do it right. Don't fuck around and see what happens. And if you don't like it, 
go back to eating how you're eating. Go try something else. The cool thing about this is you don't have to take anybody's word for it. You can try it, just like the workouts. You can find out, does it work for me or doesn't it? Is she full <coughs> of shit or isn't she? Is she getting paid by the zone guys on the side or isn't she? You know, or is there really something here? It's like if somebody tells you about the Grand Canyon, if somebody tells you what it's like to climb Mount Rainier, and you just hear about it, hear about it, hear about it, but you never go there and they're telling you, I swear to God, man, it's going to change your life. I have to see the Grand Canyon. I have to climb Mount Rainier. I have to do these things before I die. You guys have to fuck with your diets before you die. <laughs> Can you really get more pull-ups by, by, by doing this for two, three weeks? Yes. <coughs> do we see our best athletes? Are they, are they doing this? Yes. We recommend it because it works. And again, you don't have to take my word for it, and that's the coolest part. When I, when I figure out my protein block requirements on the zone, and then I add up all the calories that I'm eating throughout the day, it ends up being a lot less calories than what I typically yeah. thought. Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's something to be said for caloric restriction, and it is, it is a calorically restricted diet, and I will tell you this, you will be amazed on the calories that you thrive on. We overeat. We overeat, and because of that, we feel like shit. It's like a fire. You, you know, if you, you put the right amount of fuel in that fire and it's going to burn and it's going to burn hot. If you, over, if you overfill it, if you load too much on there, it's going to smolder, smolder, and it's going to burn out. And it's the same with the amount of food. There's an optimum quantity. And you want to find that. And it is so cool. You will, I mean, it is, I can't, you hum in these workouts. You hum in your life. And I'm telling you, that spot is, it's an elite spot. It's a, it's a spot where performance matters and where you're on, you're, you're in this ready state and you just feel fucking good, really, really good. And I want for everyone to feel that.